You know, heavy rains led to the damage of two dams along the Titipawasi River this morning. Thousands of Michiganders are displaced from their homes in the midst of a global pandemic. This morning in Midland County, 13 on your side reporter Shanna Grove is alive on the scene. Shanna, what are things looking like this morning? Yeah, James, I'm just going to go ahead and step out of frame here so you can get a look at the devastation right behind me. We're in downtown Midland right now, just off of Main Street. And as you can see, there is a ton of flooding right here, reaching up to the stop sign, even further down, almost reaching the sign part of the stop sign. This typically is a roadway right here, and then it goes down further into a farmer's market. The Titabawasi River has officially crested, reaching its highest level ever at 35 feet. This all started Tuesday night when a pair of dams collapsed after a couple days of heavy rain. 10,000 people who live along this river have had to evacuate. On top of this life threatening danger is the fact that we're in the middle of another, the coronavirus pandemic. Authorities are asking people to wear masks and socially distance to avoid spreading it. And during a time when people aren't supposed to be traveling or mixing with other households, the state is encouraging people to go and to stay with other family and friends. Response teams are screening people for coronavirus at the evacuation shelters and are handing out PPE. And this area still sits under several feet of water, which will slowly go down over the next few days. But people here will be dealing with this devastation, devastation for a time to come. My daughter and I were trying to hook up our jet ski with a rope and five feet at a time, the water was just being drawn out, drawn out real fast. And then when we woke up, we, we ended with this. It's devastating, absolutely devastating. One bit of good news here is there have been no reports of any deaths or serious injuries because of this flooding. But one other major point of concern is the Dow Chemical Facility right here in Midland, and it's actually one of the world's largest chemical companies. It posted to its Facebook page and said flood waters have mixed with its containment ponds, but there have been no chemical leaks, so there is no threat right now. The company is also working with the Coast Guard at this point to enact its emergency flood plans. We'll, of course, continue to follow this story and bring you the very latest updates throughout the morning. But for now, back to you. Thank you for that report, Shanna. Now, when it comes to those impacted by the flooding, Governor Gretchen Whitmer and Attorney General Dana Nessel, they're hoping to use the full power of the government to assist those affected. Now, state officials said they're committed to exploring any legal avenue to help those in need. This includes securing financial compensation for damages to both national resources and public property. Attorney General Nessel said both offices are looking into all available options to address those circumstances. She also added, quote, Michiganders have come together in difficult times and this time will be no different.